looking for a game to capture. Come on. Okay, there it is. There's Squeenix. Look at this. It's all fancy. There's like a planet and a moon. Uh, that's our planet and that's our moon. <laughs> Delamoon? And uh, a no. spaceship wedge thingy. Yeah, I don't know why we got the pizza slice. It looks like something like straight out. It looks like something straight out of Destiny. I was gonna say Star Wars with the Star Destroyer, but that works too. So here's a fact about me. I know basically nothing about Star Wars. That doesn't surprise me. Why am I on Aether? <laughs> I don't know. Uh I visited Aether, but I went back to I went back to Primal. <laughs> That's world. a really good question. <laughs> like, it literally pulled up a blank character menu because I didn't have a character on Aether. Yeah, I, I saw... Oh. Uh, so, I think I found... You said weird robot chicken, right? Yeah, it's like a weird... Like this? Okay, so it doesn't... Like what I, I sent you in Discord? So it doesn't look like a chick. Oh, yeah, that's basically Warmac. It's not like... Um... Warmac specifically from, like, uh, the GBA era was, like, reddish, but yeah, that's basically Warmac. Uh, so, that is a rare drop from the final story dungeon of Stormblood. Okay, time to get Stormblood. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it just... Does Stormblood share, like, themes with Final Fantasy 1? Or, like, specifically no. the, the, oh, yeah, what is well, it, the, it's not the, it's not the air temple, it's like the giant thingy in the sky. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Omega just shows up. To be fair, uh, the raid tier for, um, the raid tier for, uh, Stormblood is based around is effectively Omega is holding an, an intergalactic tournament to figure out what world should survive. So and we kick Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI's ass, asses. So it's Dragon Ball Z. Or, well, Dragon Ball Super. Yes. Uh, not only do we kick uh, Final Fantasy VI, five, five and VI asses, uh, we also fucking kill Chaos. Interesting. Yep. We do the one thing that Jack Final Fantasy couldn't do. We kill K. We kill Chaos. So since I switched from from uh, Marauder to wait, why did my Soul Crystal not save? Probably because it didn't register. He didn't register the the I thing. Could have swore I did. Well, now's a good time to put it back on. It doesn't really technically change anything, um, but I changed uh, uh, my glamour very slightly. Um, so now I like just Are have made boots. <laughs> yeah. So I like just have, <laughs> I just have the dress now. Um, so I'm going to have like heavily armored gloves and legs. <laughs> Cause I think that that's a very, very cool look. It, it kind of makes me think of Noel. Yeah. I, I, that's literally what I was thinking of when I was like, Oh, this is probably a good idea. I was like, Oh yeah. I'll, I'll look kind of like Noel. I'm like, Noel's great. Wait, didn't you get somebody at 30 as a warrior, or am I stupid? Throw a battle. Well, that's a marauder thing. I thought you got somebody at 30. Oh, you don't get anything at 30 as a warrior. No, I don't think so. Uh -huh. Yeah, last thing I remember getting... I got arm's length. I got that at 32. Yeah, I just was like, I thought that was a, a sooner thing. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so we're going to... <laughs> what? Why, why is that still there? That doesn't... That cooldown doesn't... That cooldown doesn't move when you're logged out. What? What? <laughs> Brush with death doesn't move when you log out. That's really funny, actually. Why? Why? If, if you use a suicide move as a blue mage, you need to wait ten in-game minutes for it to for it to leave. That's 
You have to play play. the game for 10 minutes before you're okay with dying again. That's really fucking funny, actually. That's that's incredibly funny. I don't know. I I feel like... Oh, we might have to do Brave Flux now. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, you'll be fine. I'm still kind of learning this, uh, this, this, this tanking thing. You'll be fine. If I get into a bad situation, I'll just use throw a battle. Well, like, what you could do is, uh, when... Somebody's name is Jerry Uwu. That tracks. (laughs) Uh, so something you could do is that when Rampart is done, you can then use Thrill of Battle to give yourself more health, health for a bit, instead of just, uh, holding off on Thrill of Battle. I never need to use Thrill of Battle unless I'm about to die. That is not true. Okay, uh, okay, I need you to explain to me how it would be useful if I'm not about to die. It's literally more health. (laughs) Okay, but if my health is above zero, it doesn't matter how much health I have. Oh my god, no, wait. Right? No, see, no, you still use it because it's still a more health, so that way I don't, so that way, like, you don't get closer to dying. But I then also remembered that the secondary effect that Thrill of Battle gets isn't until 78. Okay. (laughs) Okay, so there's something else it does. Yeah, at uh, 78, it increases the amount of healing you get by 10%. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Also stats. Uh, yeah, I remember. Uh, where do I go? Uh, you go this way. And then we're gonna go in here first. Room. Oh my god, I don't have Aos out. There's a manor maid servant. Indeed. Alright, I'm gonna trust you stay alive for a little bit. Yeah, I'm fine. I just used, uh, I just used Rampart. Oh, hey, another one. Bad. Oh, it's so like that one? This one? The Dark Mist? That's one you can interrupt. You, that's one you can interject in. Oh, okay. It's when the, it's when the thingy flashes, right? Yeah, it's when it like starts pulsing. That you can like that you can use inter that you can use interject or interrupt, I forget what it's called. It's yeah. Off the top of my head. Uh it's interject. Do we go left? Okay, yeah. Nope, we go right. Okay. Into here. I don't remember this dungeon hardly at all. <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait, I did I did the wrong thing. Interject is... No, wait, no, that's... Which one's interject? No, I did press the wrong... Or, I pressed the right one, just on the wrong thing. I did it on the carpet stain, not the thing that was casting it. Um, yep. This is this is why we need... Uh, we need a... What's it called? Um, um, a macro that can target whatever's actively casting an ability. That would be really nice. I agree. Target thing that is actively casting ability. Use interject. Done would be really damn nice, wouldn't it? Uh, Alright, and then you can... Beat this thing up? Yeah, we can beat this thing up, and then we can go... Oh, here. Let me do this. This place is a nightmare. You uh, imagine... worse. <laughs> imagine if I didn't have you to tell me which way to go in these hallways. Oh, trust me. I know. I tanked this dungeon a lot, too. Uh, yeah, and then you can go right up to that manor sentry. Hello, manor sentry. Oh, fuck. Interject. Got it. <laughs> Sick. Okay. There you go. I think I just need to know which things can cast things I can interject and just be ready on them. Yeah. Come with time. Not just be like, oh, I see. I can. Oh, it's like, oh, I see. I can. Or like, I know that. Like, oh, this enemy does this a lot. For this one. Yeah, yeah, no, clubby. Here, the... clubby sure. Yep. Now we go murder this bitch. 
All right, then once we, once we pick up the key that this that that she drops, uh, once we pick up the key that she drops, we're gonna turn right back around and go back the way we came. Right. Uh, and then this boss can be stunned, so you can stun the darkness if you want. Oh. Got it. I pressed the wrong button, but I got it. So, but you know what? It worked. Um. I think he stunned it. Oh, okay. I was really confused for a second. I was like, why are you standing there? I think he, I, I think you stunning him made him realize, oh, I can stun it. Yo, I'm a model tank. All right. I interrupted void fire. All right, so we're gonna grab. Didn't need to. Where's this? Key? There it is. All right, so now we go back this way. Ooh, I kind of want that. I sold a lot. I sold a lot of my equipment, so I need to. I need to <laughs> clog up my inventory again. <laughs> hey, go through the ivy door. And this then, is... if you want to do the the real pro thing. We jump down here. Okay. Ow. And keep going. Nope. Oh. There's nothing here. Until so we can keep going. There's a door there. Yeah, we go left. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see that there what? was a left hallway. That's okay. This uh, place. This place is the worst. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this one sucks. Can I say it used to be worse? I'll be real, it's really not that different. Alright, and then what you're gonna do... How do you know which keys to grab and where to take them? Uh, because we just need to grab the minimum amount of tiny keys to open... these doors. Alright, go right. And we're just gonna keep going right. In here? Nope, keep going, this way. Okay. We're just gonna go around the entire, uh the entire place. To here? Yep, right okay. here. Oh, I have gonna... a lot of things. <laughs> Indeed. Oh my god. Manor maid servant. Okay, there it is. I forgot I grabbed one of those. And I really want why? my combo action for AoE. Uh, you get it at 40, so... I'm kind of close. Kind of. A hell of a fly. There, then we're going to go into this locked door. This... I used Thrill Battle, are you happy with me? I am happy with you. I don't think it did anything. It just raises my, it just raises my max health for ten seconds. That's really good, because that's less time I need to worry about healing you. But your job is to worry about healing me. Yeah, but also I like the, I like ruining people. Fair enough. We're broiling them alive. We killed the jester first, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I vaguely remember this part. I don't remember it taking so long to get here, but I remember this part. You may want to make sure you provoke the manor steward, though. Yeah. I'll uh, throw out an AoE every once in a while. You can also just, like, when provoke is, on cool is off cooldown, you can also just hit provoke on it. Ah! I gesture threateningly. I give him the finger. I gave him the, uh, the thing from, oh, what was it? The, uh, it was in, uh, oh, I can't, that didn't work. Oh, I did it? I think I, did I stop it? You didn't stop it, but you did stun him. 
Okay, I did interject, and then I realized that it wasn't flashing, so I tried to kick him really fast, but I think it was too slow. It was a little too slow, yeah. W would kicking right. him have stopped it? Yes. Okay. Alright, and then grab the bloody parchment, then we go to the ethereal flow. Oh, we're back at the start. Yep, because we need to go up the seal. Yeah, fun fact. Uh, that wasn't there. Left or until okay. the rework. And it's boss time. Oh. Do you remember this boss at all? No, not at all. I remember it's like a spooky lady who's kind of cute. A it's a spooky lady who's been possessed by the void. She's kind of cute. Kill her. Do I just do normal tank stuff? Do your normal tank stuff. Okay. Are there any ads in this one? Uh, no. There used to be, but there aren't any more. Now it's just mechanics. I'm... I might have... Played this originally when it uh, when it had ads because I vaguely remember ads in this room. Yes, you did. <laughs> ah, there's a banner sentry. You lied to me. Yeah, uh, look away from it. Ah. Oh right, she's the lady that's that uh, does the uh, seduce thingy to make you try to look at the eye. Yep, I remember now. There, I got oh, the there are ads. I forgot about the handmaiden. I don't see any handmaid. Yeah? Oh, wait, she's inside of her? Okay, I see. Oh, interject has no effect on that. Hmm. Even I'm surprised by that one. I got murderized. Oh, we needed to kill that a little faster. Because now the boss has stone. I don't think I have stuff to give for very long. All right. Run away, run away, run away! God, that was close. Hey, you can interrupt this. I accidentally used arm's length, too. <laughs> I respect oh. it. Well, actually, would arm's length stop, stop the charm? No. Because that's moving you. It's moving you, but it's like it's, moving your character it's making you by having yourself. them walk. Yeah. Okay, it's not moving you, it's making you move yourself. That's the yeah, dumbest not, distinction not, ever, and I hate how that makes sense. I guess, I guess for lack of a better term, it's not pulling you or pushing you. It is making your legs moving. It is making your legs, <laughs> making yeah. your legs carry you somewhere. Yeah. That's the difference. Arm's length stops you from being pushed or pulled. That's, that's Fakebe's shirt. Yes. Interesting. I think I think the I'm trying to think what model it should. What, I think it's I'm trying to remember what the model or like the, like the, the that like the shirt is based off of. I don't remember if the oh. Pagos. I don't think the Pagos stuff was in the game. I think that was introduced in Stormblood with Eureka. I have a letter. By the way. You have a letter. Where's the delivery, Moogle? Uh, where? What city state are you in? I'm in uh, Gridania. Uh, at the near the amphitheater. All right. Let me cut his amphitheater. Uh, uh, Rogue is a disciple of war, right? Yes. That's just like. Not magic. Yeah, war war is physical damage. Magic is magic. Okay. In that case, I can uh, I can uh, I can make my rogue uh, not not cloud strife anymore. I can make them for <laughs> Um. Oh, on this thing. Oh, I got the... Oh, this is the stuff uh, for Endwalker. Oh, 
Oh, nice. It's the wind up. It, it's the wind up. Porum. It's the wind up. It's a wind up child white mage. Or is that a wind up palom? And an the Arion, joke being that they're twins. And an Arion Horn and the Death Scythe. Yeah. I, for a class you can't even use yet. Listen, it's probably going to be my main class when I get Tenwalker. I mean, you know, honestly, fair. Get to 70. Just the way that you her. described it in that it's it's like kind of the a similar-ish style to like... It's... Uh, uh, Dragoon and Samurai, but also it's completely brain dead. It's super fucking brain dead. It sounds like perfect for me. <laughs> it's... I... I, I get why. I just find it really fucking boring until it's 90, and then it's actually, like, not hard, but, like, actually interesting. It has a mechanic to work with? It's got all of its tools to work with. Hey, do you think my viewers would appreciate, uh, just, just randomly, um, seeing the level 35 part of the work, uh, storyline? I mean, if you want to do it, do it. <laughs> where the hell is, where the hell is the guy? Lenosia. Uh, Costa del Sol. Where is Costa del Sol? That's you know, if you just More open the teleport menu. No, I'm just concerned now. It's this one. Yes. Oh wait, I was looking. Okay, I see. I see what happened. I'm an idiot. I don't like the two <laughs> things are north of the same thing. I feel like it everything should be on a, like, a, like, grid of squares, and they can only <laughs> be north of one thing. Unfortunately. That, that was the wrong button. Is. Well, hey, she. How you doing? <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> why are Geishel Greens on this? Uh, why not, I guess. I guess, I guess back when I first got Marauder was when I was still using the Chocobo. So it's just stayed there. Okay, for anybody who's wondering, the Marauder storyline was I killed a big cow for a kid. <laughs> That's literally the entire storyline. Um, now I came over here to be back up because there were too many turtles. And this guy was like, hey, you're good at swinging an axe. I want to teach you my secret, like my tribe's, like, super cool thingy. Like, way to harness, harness your inner beast or something. Mm hmm And his name is Curious George. His name is... No, his name is Curious Gorge. You're a Gorge. But it is, <laughs> but it is Curious George. You are correct. I mean, that anybody, name would be pronounced anybody, George, I'm pretty sure. It probably would be, yeah. Welcome back, my friend. I can see you've not neglected your training. For my part, I fear that deciphering the ancient chronicles of my people is proving to be a much more demanding task than I had imagined. Mind you, it hasn't helped that I've been somewhat preoccupied of late. A comrade of mine in my days in the Company of Heroes asked me to do a favor and has taken me back and forth across the realm like a, like a bloody fairy. Hey, Shion. Um, Hi, Shion. Oh, yeah, this guy I was also... I haven't let her die. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so this guy was also a member of the Company of Heroes. I'm on a hunt for some mysterious feral beast that's been terrorizing, uh, that's been terrorizing small folk. People don't know where this monstrosity came from, but witnesses say its thirst for blood is unlike anything they've ever seen. Uh, unfortunately, the time I've spent in pursuit of beasts is time I have not spent studying the Chronicles, and I'm sorry to say I've made little progress. However, while on the road, I was able to decipher one passage that may be of interest to us both. From what I can gather, the Chronicles tell of an ancient set of armor forged by my ancestors in the flames of the Seven Hells, and inscribed with the same arcane incantations that adore the soul of the warrior. It would seem that this mighty armor was passed down from a hero to apprentice, to apprentice for centuries, until one man, driven by rage and vainglory, cast all five pieces uh, from uh, uh, from Abilathia's highest peak. Since that day, the armor has remained lost, and with it, the power that it harbors. Well, damn. As far as I can make out, the next passage in the Chronicles uh, concerns the whereabouts of these missing artifacts, though I've only been able to make sense of the odd word thus far. Still, I must confess that uh, to some excitement. Imagine what a warrior clad in such garb could achieve. Ah, uh, if only my if only my brother were here were here, he could decipher the text or we could decipher the text together and spread the teachings of our people to the entire we realm. Are she on what? <laughs> I, I don't know, she on's drunk. Alas, he is not. His whereabouts are 
are as hidden to me as those of the ancient armor. I would have liked you to meet him, if only uh, so that you could have uh, looked upon a true warrior. Well, perhaps he's still shall. Eorzea is not uh, is not as large as most people perceive. Paths cross, fates intertwine. Such is the will, or er, uh, such is the will of the spinner. Uh, it may be that my brother has chosen a path similar to mine, but I have rambled long enough. You're here to take the next step in your training, so I shall oblige. In the southern region of that, er, in the southern reaches of Thanalin is the Sagoli Desert, a god's forsaken wasteland of not but sand that stretches as far as the eye can see. It is, it is literally so much sand, you can fish in it. Oh. It's here that the... Uh, there are literal, living, breathing fish <laughs> it is in the goddamn damn desert. <laughs> it is here that the Leviathan of the Dunes lurks, a sandworm of gargantuan proportions. I still haven't caught that fish, by the way. I've tried multiple days, and I I just am, I just have the worst luck with that particular fish. Really? That, that, that sounds like a pain to get. It's like time locked, and like I don't have enough CP to use uh, to use uh, to use fish eyes, and like mm -hmm. it needs to be like it needs to be mooched off of another thing that's kind of hard to get in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When facing this mammoth creature, you'll soon realize that the feeble hex and slash and slashes of your puny axe are ill suited for the task of felling such a foe. But do not let this dissuade you. Wake the slumbering beast within and summon forth a strength that transcends the limit of your physical form. Mind you, first you'll have to find the beast, and that might prove a tall order in itself. Uh, the U tribe that inhabit uh, that inhabits forgotten swing uh, springs is wise to the movements of the denizens of the desert. Should you want for guidance, I wager they could set you in the right direction. So, in the first part of this quest line, I saw a guy that looked exactly like this guy um, that summoned all the turtles. Was that his brother? What gave it away? I mean, the fact that they look the same and that he didn't say anything about it. So it was either his brother or it was him possessed by an evil spirit. You know. I wonder if his brother, like, found the beast within, but, like, let it take control of him. Congratulations, instead, you figured out the warrior instead, quest instead, line. Instead of the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's, wow. Wow, you mean that, that that, that, like, very standard but also pretty good hook is a story in this game? I would never would have guessed. Jock, I know. What the hell am I doing? Oh, Residence of Forgotten Springs. Oh God, I, I swear, I swear, if I get here and the and the fate with the sandworms attacking the town is still going on, uh, well, guess what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have some words for the developers. Uh, guess what? What? Well, it's probably happening. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Oh, oh shit. Is okay. Th there's another one going on. I'm pretty sure there's only two fates in this area, and that's why this one's so common. I would not be surprised. No, if, if that was the case, I mean. Because generally speaking, a fate's m supposed to be going on most of the time, right? No, they just kind of happen whenever. It's. It seems like there's almost always one fate on ma uh, like per map tile. I think it's because of just like the way that it's timed. So like, I guess yes. There is always one going on at a time, but it's not always one that's the 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 one that where it's English. Didn't it's I... not always the same one. Gotcha. Didn't I talk to to uh, Ukubatia for one of the story quests? You did during the Titan part. Build up the Titan part. Sandworms are particularly sensitive to vibrations in the earth, such as those made by running. If you're looking to summon one of the beasts, then I suggest you search for their tracks, then uh, run about making as much of a climber as possible. I would also suggest you seek a cure for your madness. <laughs> well, and we're, we're far beyond that. You know. Oh, these poor desert pastes. Pastes. I have seen the beast. Stands three moms high, he does, and stirs up sandstorms with each writhing riddle. <laughs> Uh, showed up in my hunting field some years ago and was swallowing uh, up my would-be prey in that caping maw of his ever since. Ugoro Muli. Isn't Ugoro the, the mines? Or Ugoromo? I believe so, yes. Interesting. I fa I fa I'm finding secret lore. She get out of the way. The Leviathan of the Dunes? I saw the fearsome bugger not a week ago, preying on a group of merchants south of Byrgoth Strike. 
The, the smart ones dropped their wares, turned tail, and ran. The dumb ones, well, at least they can say they died rich. Fair enough. What does this symbol mean, where it's blue but spiky? Blue but spiky? I think that's supposed to be... You know, the, I think it's supposed to be vibrations, but I don't know. It gets mad if there's... What? I don't get it. There's so many... Okay, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I've had these questions... I've, I've played this game. I'm probably... Damn, like, right at 400 hours right now. Um... I've had these questions about what the different symbols mean, and I know what most of them mean. Like, that one means it just gets mad at you. That one means it's passive until you attack it. Um, I don't... I feel like I could have, at some point in the 400 hours that I've played this game, I could have just gone to the wiki and looked up what those symbols mean. I did. Will I? I'm not sure. Will you? No. Could. You could just you could just say no, it's okay. Sundrake, get out of the way. Can I get a pet Sundrake? You might be able to get a minion of a Sundrake, yes. They look really cool. I like them actually. Neat. Ah just what the Okay, hello. <laughs> I, I think I found it. Uh, we'll give it away. <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't tell you. I got blinded. That's unfortunate. This thing was actually surprisingly big. You know. You're a warrior. You gotta take on big things. I just didn't think that something this big would just spawn randomly out of nowhere. Uh, surprise. <laughs> like, the big, uh, the big cow thing just had, like, like, a whole, like, cutscene for it. That thing just appeared on top of me. It was just like, hello, I am here now. I will kill you. Sand worm. That's what the sandworm sounds like. Sand. Worm. Did you know that most uh, that most monsters in this game are Pokemon, actually? We just don't have the Pokemon yeah. to catch them. Damn it. Why don't we have those? I don't know. The mechanists are slacking. For fucking real. I'm assuming that a mechanist is basically just an artificer. Yes. Okay. Where do you think I got I get my, my giant robot friend from? Fair enough. Ah, oh, Lucia, your crystal grows ever stronger. In felling the raging sandworm, the beast within you slowly but surely rouses to wakefulness. When next you do battle, methinks you'll find yourself capable of movement he heretofore unfamiliar to you. Um, when you have mastered your new talents, return to me. In the meanwhile, I shall continue my study of the ancient texts. You're I wonder welcome. I wonder if we're gonna find that armor as part of the level forty five quest. Hmm. We definitely no. never find entire sets of armor for the level 45 quest of jobs. But no, never. That's never happened. The one thing I'm really concerned about for, uh, for Warrior is it has a lot of buttons. <laughs> no, like, I'm being serious. <laughs> I was looking at it and all the different things. I don't know how I'm gonna. I don't know how I'm going to like reason out right. my buttons. Do you want to know the easy answer? Yes. Get used. Get use some of them. <laughs> Ironically, okay. here's the thing. Like, like I want to ha uh, do. Uh, you ever get a third part of the of the AOE combo? You only get two. Okay, so that's gonna be one you do two. I don't know what I'm. I I I I do actually want to make a correction to that. Uh, you do get. See now you just got a thing for bar, for your bar. How you just got a bar for single target attacks? Yeah, be scage. You will eventually get. 
At 45, you will get an AoE attack that uses your Beast Gauge. Okay, However, so that's what I was talking about putting on three. How follow up to that? Uh, you don't actually increase Beast Gauge with your AoE combo until you're at level 74. That's fine. That said, uh, play the game for 90 anyways. You know, I think at 50 you will gain an ability that every 60 seconds you can hit. That gives you 50 beast gauge. Yeah. So. I was glancing through so. Hey, Connie's <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hey, how convenient that we're going to have to go to, to Gre Gregonius. Oh, she's drowning. I don't know why hey. that was so funny to me. Her, her, hey. It's just perfectly her eyes are just barely below the water. Hey, <laughs> just, she's drowning. It's just standing there completely stoically. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking. Do I get other stuff similar to Thrill of Battle? Uh. Yes, you get Equilibrium, which is a self, which is a one, which is a self heal that has a 1,200 potency heal to it. it. It'll restore about a third of your health. Okay. Uh, you'll get Raw Intuition. Which for six seconds you take ten percent less damage, and also every every time you hit with a weapon skill, you heal heal yourself for four with a with a cure potency of four hundred. Okay. I want to clarify something with that. Whenever you hit something with with raw intuition up. The, the raw intuition is like the skill that says, "All right, I don't need a healer anymore. Get out of here." <laughs> and dungeon pulls. Okay. Um, I don't need the, my. I don't need defiance, on a, on a quick button, do I? Because no, I just want to press it at the start of a thing. I, I can just move my mouse over and click it because it's just the start of a dungeon. Uh, I will say, uh, if you do end up tanking in, like, 8-man content, uh, if you see that the other tank has more health than you, leave your tank stance off. If they don't turn it on in the first few seconds, turn your tank stance on, on and pull. Okay. Okay. I think what I've got is, okay, do I get more like like attack buffs, like berserk? Uh you in terms of just just attack buffs? Well, just like general just like g good buffs uh, for killing things. Infuriate is one. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> uh you get um you get a gap closer. At sixty-two, that's just an oh, that's just an off-global cooldown ability you can hit. There's a there's a thirty-second single-target attack you get at sixty-four. That shares a cooldown with its AOE version that you get at eighty-six. I'm just pulling at my hair, <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to figure out what to think okay. of all of this. Okay, all you really need to worry about for now is that, yes, you will get a couple of other buffs. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. But... I think I have an idea. Okay, I'm going to move all my defensive stuff to the 789 line. So I can move Berserk over to here. Then 4, 5, and 6 are going to be my, my Beast Gauge attacks. Bright side, you only need two. You don't need you don't need any more than that. Yeah, that's fine. So there's gonna be AOE attacks for one, two, three. Four, five, six is gonna be beast gauge. If I need to, I can I can have openings in those depending. Mm -hmm. Um I generally don't like to do more than maybe four for the bottom well, here, because that means I have to start moving my fingers more. You do you will get an alternate combo ender at fifty. Yeah, that's fine. That can take a single target. Yeah, just wanted to make sure that you just want to make sure you knew that. Yeah, I've looked, and that means that I have two more buttons to put it to to put it two and four. Yeah, and like for now, 
Really? That's actually, all I'm, you need to worry about. Actually, I'm going to put nope. a projector too. Yeah, just like, for now, that's all you need to worry about. Or wait. Take it, take it piecemeal. Take it piecemeal, just one bit at a time. Low blow, interject, and arm's length are my, like, stop things from happening buttons. So, that will be my control 456. Makes sense to me. And then that means that Berserk and my other attack, or like, Berserk and my other buffs can be control 1, 2, 3. Because, see, 1, 2, and 3 are at the front of my mouse, so I'm, you know, being forward like I'm attacking. Mm -hmm. But then my Fair defensive enough. ones are 7, 8, and 9 at the back of my mouse, not pressing control. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's how I reason through things sometimes. Nothing wrong with that. Warrior has too many buttons. <laughs> Boy, do you not want to play Gunbreaker. No, I don't. <laughs> Listen, I thought that Black Mage had a lot of buttons. I've basically I'm basically fine with Black Mage now. But Warrior scares me. And I I don't even have most of the buttons that scare me yet. You confuse me. Okay, Black Mage has a lot of buttons, but they're all buttons that very specifically work all off of each other and make a very clear line of sense. I so does Warrior. Not really from anything you've said to me. This is a chaos of random things I can do. <laughs> I promise you, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm gonna die. It's not even that hard. Uh, I need to go. I need to go gamble. I will be. I will be frank with you. Warrior is really simple. I need to go play Reaper. Yeah, but that means you have to get to seventy first. I can get to. Listen, I can get to 70 pretty fast on Fisher. Alright, you have to get to level 70 as a disciple of war first. Disciple of war or magic first. I feel like that's yeah. unfair. Unfortunate. You bad. <laughs> What's the... No, not the main guide. Mount guide. Yeah, this horse thingy. I'll take that for warrior. I have a guy greens there anyway, so I can summon them both, technically. Okay, um. Right Why are these little sabotenders all around? I don't remember these statues being here. Because it's the gold saucer. Why wouldn't they have sabotineers around? No, but like specifically like these statues. I don't remember these statues being here. Oh, uh, because that's for promoting the Mickey Rain event. All oh, right, I remember seeing that in a thing. Wait, today's Saturday, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is. Jumbo Cactpot! Uh, it did go off earlier today, I believe. Oh, no, I did that really wrong. Um... Okay, well, this might be bad. Damn it! Yeah, I, so, just for fun, I, uh... Damn it! That's the that's one time I have ever missed it! That's really unfortunate. That's the only time playing Mini Cactpot that I, that I can recall that <laughs> I have been able to get the 10,000 and haven't. I just, I just didn't think when I pressed the first button and then I realized that that gave me two blind spots. And of course that was the one. But of course. I hurt my hand punching my desk. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh. oh, please redeem me. Where? <laughs> Why? Drug. It's just being mean to me now. Um. And 
Ben. Okay. Well, this doesn't matter then. Alright, I think I... Oh, damn, I'm just going to blow it. Okay. Oh, any way the, blo any way, any way the wind blows. I've only done that once. I can't believe I missed the cat part on that. There's somebody dead in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> that tracks. Yeah. So is it plot day, or, or is it just fuck around day? I'm going to be doing a little bit of plot. I just want to do, ask. just want to do leveling and get, and get this out of the way. I'm gonna do a, I'm not gonna be streaming for long, but I do want to uh, get a little bit of story done. Because mm -hmm. um, I am probably next stream. I'm probably gonna be playing Dredge. That is fair. I got the early bird bonus. I've never gotten that for the past like seventeen months. <laughs> Okay. Well, I am above 100,000 now. Yay! I could buy the I could buy the Emperor's new shield if I wanted. Indeed, you could. That's if the, you wanted. That's the last Emperor's new item that I don't have. But also, uh, you don't need to anymore unless you plan on leveling Paladin. Okay, so I. I, here's the thing, I, I really want to, because I want to, I want to have a class that I appreciate the shield being there after, <laughs> after playing both Black Mage and White Mage together. Uh, well, your only option for that is Paladin. Exactly. And, uh, it, I think I said this before, it's basically Gunbreaker Light. That's fine. Okay. To be fair, Gladiator, I do actually have a little bit of experience playing with. Like, really, really early uh, uh, Gladiator, but, like, it's not bad from what I've seen. No, it's about as many buttons as, as Warrior gets. Uh. <laughs> Except one of those fucky buttons shouldn't even be a fucky button anymore. Just give us the 1200 mana on Royal Authority. We don't need a Dolman anymore, Square Enix. I, fe I, I feel like I've accidentally touched a nerve. Okay, so they've reworked Paladin halfway through Endwalker in 5.3 and it's fucking garbage. <laughs> okay. It's a... Because well, the, the joke I made about it being Gunbreaker Light came from the remake. Not the remake. The, 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 the changes to Paladin. It's awful. Because like Gun, Gunbreaker has a a GCD ability that has a 60 second cooldown. It doesn't put your global cooldown at 60 seconds. It's just... That ability has a six second cooldown. Um, where it also inflicts a, a damage over time effect. Uh, they changed Paladin's second combo ender that they got uh, to that to that minus the damage over time effect. Uh, they changed how uh, one of the damage buffs and like. I, I, I want to give them some credit with this one. Some credit here. Um, Paladin was all kinds of fucky and weird to play in raids because it had two different damage buffs that really fucked with um, the raid scene and just timing buffs in general because uh, you would all... Because how... The main damage buff fight or flight would work was it was a physical damage buff whereas requiescat was a, a magic damage buff so it was really hard to get without some like frankly kind of bullshit shenaniganry in your to like get your strongest attacks and your de and your damage over time's effect time effects on at the same time. Interesting. And a lot of the timing for those attacks fucked with the idea that, like, Endwalker has kind of been... Had classes has, has had classes move towards, like, being based around two-minute cooldowns for offensive cooldowns. Yeah. 
and original Paladin didn't really work with that in Endwalker. Because, hmm. like, Fighter Flight and Recreation Scan were both 60-second cooldown buttons, but you needed to hit both of them in that, in that like, 15 to 20 second window that you had where everybody was putting up these massive buffs. Interesting. So, I understand why they reworked Paladin. I also hate how they reworked Paladin. I also do want to say, too, by the way, Paladin had one less cooldown than every other tank for themselves <laughs> before the rework. That's pretty funny. Well, because the, the idea is that um, Paladin was the off tank to the Warrior's main tank. And that was kind of the idea with it, was that Paladin gets all these things. Paladin gets like, oh, I'm going to give this part. I, Paladins get cover. Whereas the only you stay within a certain range of range of the paladin, the paladin takes all the damage for the person. Uh, they get an ability that decreases the amount of damage that somebody takes before any other tank gets it. Uh, they get a all right. Every, they get a literal all right. Everybody get behind me, shield. As literally, they stand in front of people. They create an area behind them. And everybody takes 85%, uh, takes 15% less damage from everything for as long as the Paladin stays there. That's really cool, actually. Th they're also the class that gets a healing spell that also restores 50% of the health of to the Paladin if they heal somebody else. They are a Paladin. It's fucking worthless, but they get it. <laughs> I still like it. <laughs> it's cool, don't get me wrong. I mean, Black Knight has gays. <laughs> yeah. Scathe is more useful than clemency, outside of outside of niche circumstances. I don't think I've pressed scathe since I've been like level fifteen. Well, there you go. You now see how often you hit, you hit clemency. <laughs> He's a paladin, or at least you should hit clemency. How often you should hit clemency as a paladin? Never. Yeah. <laughs> um. But like it's and, and you know it is the only other physical class that uses magic, that uses their MP. Because, they, you know, they have spells. See, I do think that more things should use their MP. I agree. I think that I think that more things should absolutely should be using their MP. But here, here's the thing that I just oh, the blows my mind with the, with the fucking um sorry, I am totally derailing your the stream for this. I'm no, it's so all good. Sorry. I actually do like listening to this. Um, but so the the thing with with Goring Blade is that it used to be just like a, an alternate GCD ending that would inflict a dot on um on your target. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a single time every sixty seconds, really strong hit that doesn't inflict a dot. Um, technically you everything get, is dot. Yes, but I mean, like, <laughs> traditional damage over the time effect. You know, like Thunder. Um, I would argue that Thunder is not a dot. Okay. <laughs> Let me continue with my point. Okay. <laughs> I, love how, um, I love how much that derailed you immediately. I know. Um, but so you get a magic combo at 90, based off of an ability you get at 80. Off of a spell you get at 80. That that magic combo did an AOE dot that couldn't share that couldn't share uh, a timer with the Goring Blade dot. So they removed the magic damage dot. Interesting. And for whatever fuck you do, and they basically made it so that every time you finish and you do an AOE combo or a single target combo, uh, you get a one-time insta-cast use of one of your offensive spells. And the whole idea is that, oh, they deal extra damage. Excuse me. Is that, oh, it deals a little extra damage and it also heals you. You a little. Hmm. So, and, and the thing is, is that Gunbreaker 
works in a very similar manner. You do your single target combo or your AoE combo, you get a bullet. And you can you spend that bullet to do a uh, really powerful um, actually combo string at 60 and 70 or a really strong single single attack or you could use it for a really strong AoE attack. Uh, you see, I think I mentioned this before. Up until mm -hmm. like a couple weeks ago, I did not remember that Gunbreaker and Machinist were different classes. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and the, admittedly, kind of hard to remember sometimes. The, just in name, it's like, oh, that's kind of what they do. Yeah, they're just it like, just, they, they're things that do guns. And it's just like, for whatever fucking reason, for, for Paladin, they decided, okay, we're going to keep the atonement skill. The weapon skill atonement the best skill. is awful. <laughs> it's not, okay, it's not even bad. It's not bad. I get why it exists. The whole idea is that like, oh, uh, your spells cost a thousand mana, atonement gives you back, gives you three stacks of atonement that give back 400 mana each. So like, you know, it's mana positive. You're going mana fucking positive anyway. <laughs> it's literally pointless. See, I'm the kind of person uh, that watched a, I think it was an hour and a half, uh, <laughs> like, like video documentary on the on the raid scene in WoW, um, mm -hmm. but I I don't I, I never played WoW long enough to get to any raid content. Mm -hmm. I just like listening to stuff like this. It's just like, I I it's like a case of like I understand what atonement is supposed to do. Atonement is also fucking worthless still. Just give us... They, they, they wanted it, They wanted this class to play like a weird mix of Dark Knight and Gunbreaker. And it's just Gunbreaker, but worse. <laughs> in so many con- in so many contexts. I would argue that Dragoon is Samurai, but worse. I would argue that- I would all- here's the Actually, thing. no. I would- I would argue God. that Dragoon is Red Mage, but worse. Do you see where I'm coming from? He does. Right? I don't know what you're going for with this, but I would also argue that at least they didn't they didn't take everything about Red Mage and make it and just flavor it as Dragoon. Yeah, that's and, fair. and just called it a different and called it Dragoon. That is pretty Because that, that's basically what they did with, with Paladin is they took Alright, here's what Gunbreaker did. We're gonna we're gonna take the bullet system and apply it to uh Paladin spells. It just... It, it is a functionally better class. It, 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 but uh, it's not as... Argument. It's not as... As, like, itself as it should be. Yeah. It, it, it is a functionally better class, but it lost a lot of its identity from having to change. From having to be updated. I feel like they'll probably fix it. They won't. Again. They won't. I mean, they will eventually. Uh, do, do you want to know what's on the docket for 7? For 7.0? What? Dragoon and, Ast Dragoon and Astrologen again. Oh, great. <laughs> and I say Astrologen again because Astrologen got reworked in Shadow Breeders. <laughs> Hasn't Summoner been reworked like 17 times? Summoner got reworked in Endwalker. <laughs> Because now you actually summon shit in a walker instead of just like manifesting eggies or like little pre or like little mini versions of the primals. Yeah. You yeah. Can literally channel their power. Yeah, you stole their soul and <laughs> essentially made a minion version of them fight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whereas now it's like, yeah, go fucking nuts. You, you are literally channeling their power. But like, Astrologen. Astrologen's in such a weird spot because, like, its card system is both really good, but also really weird to use in that it's still, like, RNG reliant on making I want the to play most Astrologen use. I so bad. I love RNG. Uh, gotta get to Heaven's Word. I'm the person that, that, like, 
when I was starting to learn League, I literally looked up what is the most RNG-heavy champion. And <laughs> uh, the answer was Twisted Fate, because there's not really any actual RNG, ch RNG cha champions. Indeed there's not. I, Twisted, Fate, Twisted Fate literally was just... Passive is the only RNG aspect to it, really. Yeah, that and also... Well, technically, I think since when you uh, do... Uh, what's the ability called? Uh, uh, pick a oh, card. I know the, yeah, um, that starts on a random color, so that's technically RNG if you just spam it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. But I'd argue it's not really RNG because you can still control it. Yeah, no. But also, yeah, that... Yeah. Also, do you want to know something that's really been bothering me the entire time I've been standing here? Hmm. This says welcome. Yes. Isn't this script yeah. not supposed to be, like, legible to us? Smile. Because <laughs> it, it says welcome, and it says the gold saucer, and I've just been staring at these words, like, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be able to read these, right? <laughs> no, I, I, I think that's a case of, like, yes, you are supposed to be able to read them, but it just, like, they want it to look weird and fancy and have it not seem like it's English, but it's it's English. I could have swore that most of the time that you see that script, it's, like, actually nonsense. I don't think so. I think it is actually, like... Have I just it... never looked close... <laughs> have I just never, like, looked closely enough at it to, like, see through its weirdness? Maybe. Wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't blame you. What in the world? I can't think of any other place that I could, like, just go to to look at text like that. Cause I, I got what... no idea either. Uh, cause I know that yeah. numbers up here when you do, uh, the mini cactpot, but I don't think that those match up to our numbers. Okay, no, those do not. Yeah, those are nonsense. I know that part. Mm hmm But yeah, that was my paladin fucking sucks rant. <laughs> so you want to know something really funny? Mm hmm That ironically just made me want to play paladin more. Eh, go for it. I'm not gonna stop you from doing it. I just... That okay, is so... The... You know exactly what the what the next class should be. The next class that they had. Uh, what? It should it should uh be be uh uh shielder. Like just like somebody who fights with a shield. Yeah, just like great shield. Like maple. I'd be down or mash. The, fuck it, I'd be down for that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, they just have a big shield and they bash people with it, and it would be I'd... really funny if they weren't a tank. <laughs> so so. <laughs> I would fucking love that first off. That would be <laughs> sick as fuck. If it was a new team, if it was a new... Okay. <laughs> what if it was, like, a DPS, but they have some kind of, like, defense buffing things that they can do, like, just passively? I mean, I'd be down for that. I think that'd be fun. Just, like, help I the party don't... along at a little bit of cost of damage? Yeah, no, I'd be super down for that. I... I would, I would fucking play that class day in, day out. That would be so fucking fun. Oh my god, give it to me. <laughs> See, I always say this about everything, and it's never actually true, but I always feel like the next class should always be just a shield. The yeah, next class should what? Should just always be a shield. Because, like, I say the same thing about, like, Monster Hunter. There should be a great shield weapon. You know, of all the series to, to, to not have one, I'm still... Then again, Monster Hunter is also the series where a lance by itself, the you know, the, the the weapon that we have used to traditionally hunt things, is still not a weapon. Well, a, spe a spear, you mean? Yeah, a spear. Yeah, because we do have a lance, very specifically. Yeah, I, that's also I, the closest said, thing we have to a great shield. Yep, I, I said lance, and I realized I meant spear. Yeah. As I said it. See, I just say that we should have... Um, we should not have the magnet spike. That's kind of weird and broken. Um, but we should have uh, uh, the tonfa. We should have the excel axe. We should have the great shield, and we should have a, and we should have a, a giant boomerang. Those are the things that we should have. Yo, give me the giant fucking boomerang. Hell yeah! I really, I really want, I really want a, uh, um, um, uh, a weapon in Monster Hunter that's just like. A boomerang that you like throw and you like kind of like direct it to do things like well it's spinning away from you mm -hmm. so like your character isn't like doing things on themselves they're just like running around and being safe while the boomerang you 
like, throw, and it does a thing that, like, you told it to do, and then it comes back, and you can do that again. So it's, like, kind of, like, almost passively fighting for you while you focus on, like, dodging. Would be kind of cool. I see, I can totally see why they wouldn't do something like that, but it would be kind of cool to actually have that as a thing. Think about if it was, like... Okay, so I've told you about my friend that designed uh, uh, for Iceborne. They designed a, um, um, it was an insect glaive set, where they literally just 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 had the yep. insect kill everything, and it and like they could kill like pretty late game monsters in like ten minutes really easily, yep. with literally no danger to themselves because they just stood outside the zone. I remember that. Yep. Imagine boomerang as that, but you actually do have to like think about it. <laughs> I'd be down for that. And like, not like actually a hundred percent safe because you do have to you know like be around it and it can only go like so far away from you but you like throw it and you like choose like 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 patterns for it to do or certain like different effects for it to do or, or stuff like that and then it comes yeah. back to you i just think it would be very cool it would be pretty neat but yeah that was my that 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 was my rant to all that I didn't mean to derail this for as long as I did. No, that is perfectly fine. Um, oh, also, um, another thing, um, I would also accept if Tonfas didn't, didn't, um, didn't, uh, like, uh, be a thing. Um, if they just made it so that, depending on how a weapon looks, they would do different damage types, so you could just have blunt dual blades. Would, would be nice. Like there's, kinda... like, there's several hammers that just look like axes, and I wonder why they don't do slashing damage. And or, you know, a lot or, of know, hammers how... look like they should do piercing damage. I was gonna say, like, how many, like, great swords look like they're just fucking massive Clubs. slabs of metal. That... Yeah. The whole, the whole guts thing of, that's, that's not a sword, that's a hunk of iron. To be fair, cl cleaving is still cutting, but there are some great swords that are literally just like like bats, like yeah. the like the uh, Rajang one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, how is that one not a fucking bludgeoning weapon? The, Come on, the, 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 the big monkey stick. Yeah, how is the how is the big monkey stick not a god? You know what we need? We need an event quest where there's a Rajang that's ho that's holding a Rajang great sword, and it, and it has special attacks for whacking you acro across the arena. That would be the best thing on the planet. Can I, can I offer an idea and follow up idea to that? Yes, you can. There's an out of bounds ring for the arena. No, not an out of bounds ring, but an out of bounds hole. Where if you go into it, you die. And the Rishane is trying to hit you into it. It is literally trying to play golf with the hunters. You know what we actually need? Hmm. We need that, but like the first thing you said, a ring that you can't leave and you're fighting and you're and you're fighting a Tetranodon. Right? <laughs> That's so perfect. There's even like a perfect zone in uh in uh Frost Islands, like the, like that is like its sumo ring. They really could easily do that. That's what I was gonna say, so like that has to be a thing already, right? That has to be an event quest. I think there's, there's like no a way. themed event quest, but like it, it like it doesn't actually like do anything for like getting thrown out of the ring, quote unquote. It's just like themed. But like they really could just make a like just make a special mechanic for like a special event quest. For real, and that would have been awesome. But it's yeah. just like, like, it will never leave this specific circle. Once you make it mad, leaving this circle like automatically carts you. Mm-hmm. That would be really cool. That would be. That would be really fun. It would be. Yeah. It would be so fun. It's just like uh, for World, they did uh, the, they did the moss swine that charge at you, um, oh, and the, and one shot it's you. The kill moss swine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love when they do stuff like that. It's like the best. They they uh, have a lot of fun. They 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 have good fun with that. They should have more fun with that. I'm really excited for sixth gen whenever that happens. Same. Because uh, now that they have like the framework for like their like new generation of games i feel like sixth gen they can actually like really go off with it and i'm hoping they do daystar and even star earrings neither of them give piety they're both bad mm. <laughs> didn't you say piety is, well, act think... is actively bad for you sometimes 
from my understanding of playing healer in like most raid scenes, Heidi is actively awful for you. <laughs> That's really funny. <clears throat> okay. Our friends, the very isle itself, everyone or everyone and everything. Oh right, Baldesian. Yeah, the no. the Baldesian. No. Baldesian, the Baldesian arsenal is uh, pretty gone. You yeah, know. Um, no, no. It avails us not to ah uh, to speculate. Arianje will send word if there are any developments. Until such time as he does, we must remain fr firmly focused on that uh, which is within our power to change. With that in mind, I would speak of a different matter, one closer to home. I don't even know where Bald uh, where uh, uh, the students of Baldesian are. I'm assuming they're uh, in Baldesian. Is that a place? Yes. Kind of. I'm trying to remember what the place is actually called before it takes on the name that it gets. Oh, okay. I don't... I'm pretty sure they've sent... I'm pretty sure they sent it before. But it wouldn't be surprising. Oh, god damn it. It concerns the etheric fluctuations which I've previously attributed to good King Mugamog the Twelfth, blessed be his name. Well, you know, it's only tied to those ethereal fluctuations. There I don't like I his. don't like his name being mentioned. Cause cause, you know e cause every time somebody says it I have to say blessed be his name or else I'll be cursed. You're not a Moogle. It's okay for you not to say hey that. That the king's no more is a blessing for which we have you to thank. Yet all's not well within uh, within the twelves wood. Our latest readings reveal an ongoing etheric disturbance of considerable, ma of considerable uh, magnitude. They may even suggest the presence of primal... Actually, c come to think of it, wasn't there something going on with, like, Odin rampaging through the forest? There is, but to my understanding, that was a uh, near end of a realm reborn thing, not a... Uh... I don't remember what happened with that. <laughs> uh, long story short is that it basically just unlocks an Odin trial. I don't think I ever actually ended up finishing that thing, because I don't think I ever unlocked the Odin trial. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. I don't... I uh, completely we, we, forgot about that until now when we just were talking about the Twelve's Wood and Primals. I was like, wait, wasn't yeah. Odin somewhere around? Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, let's say the mere possibility warrants immediate investigation, and I would have you... Knock, knock. Um... Um... Flahamen. Oh, is that? Okay. Um, Vasily, I do not wish to interrupt, but we have a problem. Uh, what manner of problem? A band of refugees hailing from Uldah, this, uh, uh, er, uh, um, hailing from Uldah this time, are come to Revenant's Toll seeking asylum. Um, it oh, would seem... shit. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of reasons to want, to not want to be in Uldah. You know. Um, it would seem they expect us to afford them the same tre treatment we gave the Domans. Um, at present they are in the seventh heaven, awaiting a formal response. I see. Mayhap this was to be expected. Well, I shall meet with them at once. Uh, Celia, you know full well we haven't the resources to accommodate many more people. Consider what will happen if you do this. Word will spread and more will follow. Your opinion is duly noted, but I will hear their suit. Lucia, I should be thankful for your, pre for your presence at this meeting. It is a that it is a hard situation to be fair. It is because it's like because you don't well, want to yeah, turn people you... away, but the more people that or but the more people that you don't turn away, the more people are going to show up, and then the less resources you have to help the people. Yeah, it it's kind of a rough spot that Minfilia is finding herself in, especially because once again, this is not one of the city states. Oh, this is a, this is a, this is an outpost. It, it is an adventurer's outpost in the middle of, like, etheric poisoned atmosphere. Yep. Question, did we ever, like, talk about why that happened? Uh, like, I why there's the aether everywhere? I think it's tied to the calamity. Well, yeah, of course it is. Um, I don't know what exactly happened, though. I thought it was because the... Uh, cause of, uh, the Garlean ship that crashed here with the big dragon? Wasn't that why? Maybe. Because the big dragon, like, wrapped around the ship and made it crash over somewhere? Uh, maybe. 
I actually, they I, might cover that in 2.4, 2.5. I, I feel like that did something. I or, wouldn't be surprised if that did something. I just, I genuinely don't remember. The hell does this mean? Draggle tailed? I have no fucking clue. I. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay. I got no idea. I apologize for keeping you waiting. My name is Menphilia. I'm the leader of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Twelve be praised, it is you. Uh, we're ready and willing to work, same as the Domans. Just give us a task and we'll see it done. Pray calm yourselves. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I know not of your situation. Uh, beg your pardon, Ad descendant. I, I ain't so good with words. We've been living off scraps of Uldah for years now, trying to piece together a life to replace the ones that got took. Uh, they say there's work, but there's not for an honest man. Uh, uh, not as wouldn't solely have sown sooner th er, or wouldn't sully his soul sooner than his palms, any road. The flames do what they can for us, of course, but it ain't near enough. And it's only getting worse. When the calamity brought us to our knees, those rich bastards in the city didn't help us up. They climbed on our backs. I don't pretend to be clever, but even I can see what's coming. I knew we had to run. Uh, the only question was to where, and then it came to me, Revenant's Toll. I mean, he... Or, uh, um... I mean, uh, you took uh, them foreigners in, uh, uh, so surely that guy will be right back. So surely you do the same for us. I fear the situation is rather more complicated. Well, it is true that I accepted uh, the Doman's petition for aid. That decision was the product of extraordinary circumstances. I sympathize deeply with your plight, but pray understand it's not possible for an organization of our means to aid all who have been affected by the calamity. And so it's with great regret that I must deny your request. But, but we've got nowhere else to go. You're turning your back on us? Yes. Now die. If I might have a word. <gasps> Tataru. Uh, Tataru is on a miss. Ill tidings from old Dawn, my lady. Alfino has... Alfino has been wounded. <clears throat> what? How? Is it serious? I cannot say for certain, but I fear it might be. According to the flames, the refugees started a riot. They went wild, apparently, lashing out at any and everyone. Mm. That, that can't be right. Why would they? They must have been provoked. The demonstration was meant to be peaceful. Seven hells, now the blades have an excuse. They'll round us up and kill anyone who tries to resist. And said, mm. please. If you... <laughs> uh, if you want to help us build a new life... Uh... Uh, at least help us keep the ones we've got. My lady. We are not ones to stand idly by and watch innocents suffer. However, until we know more of the circumstances surrounding uh, this riot, I'm not certain what aid, if any, we can provide. If the authorities determine the refugees attacked without provocation, then those responsible will have to answer for their actions. I don't know if you... Uh, like... The authorities of Ulda aren't exactly the kind of people we want to trust. No, but they're still, unfortunately, the authorities of Ulda, so... Flare. No, you can't just flare your way out of every problem. I can flare my way out of the problem of the Syndicate. Only in theory, not in practice. How can you be so blind? Uh, find Alfino, and quickly. If he's in danger or worse... I would have you and none other by his side. Thank you. Pray do not concern yourself with the matter we were discussing earlier. Um, uh, her name's Ida, right? Yes. Uh, she and Papalima will see to it. Yeah, she and Papalmio are the ones who... Papalima. Uh, whatever. <laughs> are the ones who... Are, are the 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 NPC buddies you get if you start in Gridania? Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, Alfino's being treated at the Hourglass. Hurry, Lucia. Yeah, they're the ones that I got to deal with as a start. Well, they're also the ones you got to deal with starting as a lancer. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure... Don't you still see the other ones if you... if uh, Like, when you visit the other city-states, or do you just not? No, you don't see them. Cause... You only see uh, your respective city-state. Uh, okay, I must one. be thinking because... The first time I played this game, I started in Limsa, and my and my alternate character started in Uldawa, so I have seen all of them. Uh. Oh, wait, he's all in Uldawa. I can't run there. Nope. Well, I mean, you can. You shouldn't. I could to prove a point. Please don't. We can do lots of stuff on the way to Ulda. You can tell me about other classes you hate. I mean, Paladin's really the only one, I'm gonna be honest. I thought you didn't just, like, uh, Dancer. I mean, Dancer's just how much, how lucky are you? <laughs> yeah, which is why I love it. Saying, as I haven't played it yet. I mean, like, Dancer's I've played just better it for... Archer. Yes. That's not even a joke. That's how, yes, that, it is. It's how you've described it. Uh, Alvino looks so injured. Yeah, I know, right? He looks so hurt. Don't worry. Just change his to monk. I can add a couple injuries to his face or three. What the hell is that thing on his chest, anyways? Uh, it's an aether detector. Like what Ida has over her face. But Alfino has All a different the one that he uses, doesn't he? Yes, but it's the same thing. He just looks fancier because he because he's Alpha now. He's he's the grandson of the man who sealed Bahamut away. So he's extra cool. See, the thing is, I could have swore that I've seen a cutscene with him using an Aether Detector, but it wasn't the one on his chest. He had one, like, in his hand that, like, is the same one that everyone else uses. Maybe. So, like, that scene made me wonder what this was because he wasn't using it when he was using an ether detector. I could have sworn I remember that happening, and I was really confused. Are you sure it's just an ether detector? I mean, it looks like one. It looks like it has eye holes, even if they're kind of mismatched. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just an ether detector, but I don't think it's anything... I don't think there's anything special about it. I still want... just It looks different. I still want an ether detector. We've had this talk many times about how I don't need one, but like, I want one. Come, you must have gathered by now that Tataru is given to exaggeration. As you can see, I am quite well. Good for you, Sam Riggle. Ulda, on the other hand, is not. Oh fuck, he's voiced. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny seeing what they decided to voice or not. Yeah, nothing. Not think about it. A lot of the stuff in like. Up until, like, 2.4, it's kind of weirdly randomly voiced. And again, I think I think a lot of that is tied to the the changing of um, studios. Mm -hmm. But... Can I just say something? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen Alfino ever look so sad. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. <laughs> He looks like he is about to burst into tears. I don't know why. Is it, is it bad that it just makes me want to kick him? I mean, <laughs> I mean he's an asshole, an asshole, but also... Yes. No, I was going to say, am I an asshole? Yes. I mean, he's an <laughs> asshole, too. Like... <laughs> Listen, no asshole on asshole violence. Oh. Puts away the stick. The slow fade out to black while he stared at me. <laughs> God damn. Majority of the populace accepts this state of affairs because they believe that every man bears responsibility for his So I'm curious, did you expect Alda to be like you just going into it a while ago? Did you expect Alda to be as focused as it is? As f focused? For like story stuff? I mean, I assumed that all the city-states had different focuses. I mean, like, did you expect it to be, like, kind of front and center for some of the stuff going on? Yeah, why not? Hmm, fair enough. I don't know. I'm just curious. I'm assuming all three of them are important in different ways. They are, yes. Yeah, so... I think so far, 
Gridani has been the least important. And Gridani is going to stay the least important. <laughs> good, I don't want good, I don't want shit to happen in my city state. No news is good news. Exactly. Well, uh, we'll get back to that later this patch cycle. <laughs> Listen, as a white mage, I already stopped all the catastrophes. That's what you think. So where do the refugees fit into this social hierarchy? What place is there for those who fled Alameda and the destruction of the calamity? Reminder, I know, I know I said this maybe a couple days ago, but a uh, reminder that uh, Alamigo is currently Empire territory and was, was, was somewhat recently conquered by them. Yeah, and that's uh, where, 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 where uh, um, Infili was from, right? Yep. Yeah. That guy had the best angry face, the one in the middle. I know, right? I think you can actually see him around, old uh. I wouldn't be surprised. Why not just use the NPCs they have? Like, exactly. Is that Ishtola? Where? In the background, walking up the stairs with the armor guy. Yeah. That looked like Ishtola. I mean, to be fair. Uh, when you only have so many hair size for your cat, cat girl waifus. But like the same like 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 robe and everything. Yeah, I know. So, just go to Lord Lolorito and flare. No, no. You can't do that yet. Listen, all... I'm through first. Listen, all I'm saying is that if the refugees start a riot, I'm probably helping them. <laughs> like, listen, Ulda, Ulda has some problems, and a riot can solve a decent bit of them. You're not... Ron. Mostly by murdering the syndicate. Uh, you're not wrong. I'm not gonna say you're right, but you're not wrong. Elegant Silver. For a second I thought that was a Triforce shield and I was really happy. It's a cool looking shield though. Uh I think that's the level fit I think I'm trying to think of what shield that is. It's a fancy one. I I wanna say it's either the Ironworks one or one of the Um Level 50 shields. One of the other level 50 shields. I don't know what which one, though. As I told you before, it was all but inevitable that uh, uh, that incident of this kind would eventually occur given the rising tensions within the Sultanate. Nonetheless, I have I have reason to believe that this particular riot may not have become may not have or may not have begun spontaneously. Have I piqued your curiosity? Mm. Good. Then you will accompany to me. Th then you will accompany me to the Hall of Flames. I would hear what General Raubon has to say upon the matter. That's a cool guy. What's the thing, Lord Lord Lolorito threw a threw a brick in a glass house or something? What's that? What's what, that like? What the fuck are you saying? Oh, <laughs> uh, like what's that? 
thing mean? I guess it's a metaphor. Don't throw bricks in glass houses. What, what does this mean? Oh, don't throw rocks at people when you live in a glass house? Don't throw bri bricks in glass houses there. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Um, that, that's it. Um, it mean, uh, oh, don't, don't criticize other people for bad qualities in their character that you have yourself. I feel yeah, like don't, I don't be a hypocrite. Yeah, I, I mean, that kind of also applies, but like, I feel like, I feel like throwing rocks and living in a glass house isn't, it's like, it would be like, don't, don't, don't laugh at people for their lack of privacy when you live in a glass house. It feels like a false dichotomy, is what I'm saying. I'm not dis gonna disagree, but I'm just gonna say it's a turn of phrase, and a lot of turn of phrases don't make sense. Like, living in a glass house and throwing a stone, like, aren't, aren't, like, like, hypocritical actions. <laughs> right? Because, like, you can throw a stone for a reason and still live in a glass house. Okay, Lucy, please do not actually analyze this. Okay, this right okay. Now. L listen, Stop. is it, is it better to have loved and lo loved and lost than to never lo loved at all? <laughs> it's too late for this right now. <laughs> it's not that late. It's only eleven. Yeah, yeah. it is too late for this right now. <laughs> now is not a good time, Lucia. My hands are full dealing with refugees. Precisely the matter we wish to discuss. We wish to discuss, General. Alfie, now, back on your feet already? You may credit my swift uh, recovery to your chirur chirurgeons. What? They say that word at some point through either Heaven's Word or Runway Board. I have no fucking idea how to say it. Chir chirurgeons. Chir what does that mean? God damn it. Okay. Healers. Erase glass house. Chirurgeons. It's an archaic word for surgeon. Doctor or surgeon. What is that? Dictionary.com. It comes from... It's probably French. From the old French chirurgeon. Fuck, I was right. The word of the day is so soello. I'm not even going to fucking question it. Sowellol. <laughs> Sowellol. A, sm a small burrowing rodent of the Pacific coastal region of North America, also known as the mountain beaver. <laughs> Why is that the word of the day? Fuck if I know. It's just, an it's just a random animal. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, chirurgeons. My memories of the riot are still somewhat muddled. I trust you managed to regain control of the situation? Not entirely. We secured the city soon enough, but not before the unrest had spread to the surrounding territories. Pox of resistance remain throughout. Uh, of resistance remain throughout Thanalan. We've oh, sent for We've sent the forces uh, we can spare to root out the last of the belligerents, but progress is slow. They're damnably elus elusive. I can well imagine, given the majority of refugees live outside the walls, it stands to reason they would know the lay of the land. What I do not understand is how they ca came to be so well prepared. Before uh, my little incident, I observed that several of the refugees were armed, and not with butcher's knives or pitchforks, but, but with martial weaponry. I need hardly add that such equipment is costly. None can, deny, none can deny that tensions between Ulda citizenry and the refugee populations have increased since the domains were turned away. Um, but would that motivate a starving man to purchase arms in lieu of food? I think not. And what of those who have not a single guild to spend? who cannot survive without the aid provided by the Immortal Flames. Surely they would sooner sell a weapon than bring, than bring it to bear against their benefactors. Come to the point. Very well. My point, General, is that the powder cake of discontent was not set alight by chance. These events were deliberately set in motion, and... And now order must be restored. That is my first duty. Until it's done, any investigation can wait. I do not have time to discuss this. My scouts will be returning anon. Got a point. I think that was also partially don't don't accuse 
the syndicate of, of treason out in broad daylight. Yes. That, that was basically Rob on saying, I know what you want to do. I don't blame you for wanting to do it. Do not do it without evidence. The general is no fool. He keeps his own counsel and with good cause. Uh, were he to claim without the necessary proof that these riots were instigated by outside forces, the monetarists would accuse him of attempting to shirk responsibility. After all, he and the Sultana have been the most outspoken propo proponents of refugee aid. Regardless, they will face harsh, harsh criticism in the days ahead. Our allies may stumble upon the truth in time, but I have far more faith in your abilities, Lucia. Therefore, I propose we conduct our own investigation, independent of the authorities. To that end, I would have you make make uh, some inquiries in the settlements suspected of harboring belligerents. Commander Swift will know which they are. He may bulk it at a request for such information, but I have no doubt you can persuade him with your silver tongue. I'll your silver tongue, aka, please, please just nod at him. I'll final, please. I'll final, I don't, I don't know if I have said more than a couple sentences the entire 400 hours I've played this game. Uh, you have not. I, meanwhile, shall seek answers my own way. After which we can regroup and share our findings. Well then, shall we? I'm gonna find Alfino at like a frozen yogurt stand. Would not be out of character for a realm reborn Alfino. <laughs> it's like, hey, you found the information? Great. I found all. Uh, I found a bunch of information. Did you know that glazed donut is the best flavor? <laughs> I am so mad because I I went to a frozen yogurt place um uh back. Uh, in Colorado, like, relatively frequently. I went there, like, once every couple months. Um, and one time I went there, they had a special flavor that was glazed donut-flavored frozen yogurt. And it was the best ever. And they never had it again. And now that I've moved here, there's a new frozen yogurt place, but they don't have it either. I'm and I'm really mad. Alfino just made me really mad for nothing that he actually did. I was gonna say, what is that <laughs> I'm really mad at Alfino because he, he, in the most roundabout way possible, reminded me of frozen yogurt because I accused him of being an asshole. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, I guess. I hate the I way guess. my brain works. God damn it. You look as though you have something to say, Lucia, do you? Well, you ask is no simple favor. Were such information to fall into the wrong hands, the lives of countless soldiers would be at risk. Even so, there is wisdom in your words. Any able, er, um, an able individual may be better suited to this task than a regiment. Very well. The brass blades have reported suspicious activity in the vicinity of Lost Hope. It may be unrelated to recent events, but we doubt it. I suggest you begin by speaking to the blades posted there. Sounds good. To be fair, I'm, 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 the warrior flight. I'm decently trustworthy to the. People. You are the savior of Eorzea. Which, I don't know about you, I feel like they'd be a little bit of a problem if, you know, they started to investigate what the fuck was going on here. I don't care. Uh, I don't remember how Primal... I actually don't think I know how Primal Gear works, thinking about it. It's just gear yeah here magical range dps yeah this is just the same stuff as the why is primal gear showed up is that because we beat uh leviathan yeah pretty much items required wave staff oh i turn a wave staff and a mirror of the world into a tidal wave staff ah and then you get mirrors of the world from uh, the extreme version of the trial, I believe. And where do you get the wave staff? Just randomly uh, from also the from the also from the trial. Because it always drops a weapon coffer. I actually don't know if it always drops a weapon coffer, but it usually will drop a weapon coffer that you can just turn into um, whatever weapon of a class it is that you are. I got a dungeon seedling that I can I think it just... use to turn into random outdoor furnishings of various dungeon plants. Uh, neat. I'm assuming I got that 
out of um Yeah, you got that out of arm veil. Yeah, arm. <laughs> okay. Uh where's Lost Hope? It's right outside of Ulda. See, I don't know why I have the inclination to walk towards the Aetherite when I'm thinking about where to go. Because <laughs> I don't need to be anywhere near the Aetherite to actually travel. Nope. Okay, imagine... Imagine uh, the Great Shielder um, class. Um, but you have the option that if you don't have, like, a really good, like, great shield, you can equip two normal shields. One in each hand, and you're essentially a pugilist with shields. Would be really stupid in the best way possible. <laughs> a <I> shield. <laughs> you can equip a shield as a primary weapon, essentially, is just what that is. And it just, like, does, like, some conversion of its defense value into attack value. I would be so okay with that. I feel like that would be really funny. That would hey, be friend. really funny. A friend of the Sultanate, are we? I take it this means someone has read my report. The refugees who left with the merchants or or who left with the merchant have yet to return, and I'm increasingly concerned that Zazawaka's suspicions were correct. You haven't the foggiest what I'm talking about, do you? Never mind. Speak with Zazawaka. He will explain everything. And what brings you here, adventurer? Search for refugees? Well, then you've come to the right place. Oh, you mean those refugees? Oh no, you won't find them here. Most of the people of Lost Hope have come to have come have come to accept their situation and are content to pass their days in peace and quiet. Out outsiders have trouble understanding that, like the merchants who passed through recently, Gregarious, uh, or oh, like the merchant who passed through recently, Gregarious fe fellow, but awfully opinionated. Can't say I was sad to see him go. Okay. No. I'm sure that I'm sure it's fine. Has this cave always been here? Yes. I feel like this cave wasn't here before. It definitely has been. What the hell is happening over here? I don't know why this is the creepiest room I've ever been in in this game. <laughs> I okay. Hello Zaza Waka Waza Zaza. Oh don't oh whoops. Don't hurt me. I'm not one of them. Yeah. Um I beg your pardon, you're not a flame. I see. If Lee for Bid you speak with me, then I take it you've agreed to help? Told be praised for that, because we haven't a moment to waste. Everyone knows the flames are on the march. The others have fallen under that fanatic spell, but not I. Promises of revolution and retribution, of holding the ruling class to account and taking that which is owed. Ha! A childish fantasy. I did everything I could to dissuade the others from leaving, but few would heed my words. Uh, now that one of our... Uh, our uh, now that one of our idealists has returned, however, the madness of the merchant's plan is plain for all to see. Look behind yonder tent and you will understand why. Even now, he babbles incoherently. He's traumatized by the bloodshed he witnessed. Try as I might, I can make little sense of his words beyond the fact that he uh, was not alone in surviving. Yet I have no doubt that the merchant will lead the remainder to their doom. I beg of you, find them before he does. I don't know if you need to be a up early tomorrow no. but i know i still need to be up early ish tomorrow so i'll be done soon i get it but i just want to make sure you knew yeah well what are you doing D don't draw don't draw don't draw don't draw don't draw why didn't you run away with me we could have escaped together then you'd be here with me here to soothe me why did you have to stay and leave me alone mm. i wonder what i have to do I hate that the emotes menu is just barely large enough that scrolling through it isn't efficient. <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Who are you? What do you want? Ah, it's true. I followed the merchant. May the gods strike me down for my folly. What they will not give, we... Er... Uh, what they will not give, you must take, he said. 
When we asked how, he revealed a cache of weapons he had brought and implored us to seize control of our fates. I thought about running then and there, but the others were so excited, he split us into two groups, sent us off on our own. But when the flames found us, we didn't know what to do. Our leader tried to parley with theirs, but they started arguing, and then fighting, and then everyone was fighting, and then the flames were shouting to give no quarter, and... Oh god, it's the other group. They're still out there. If we don't stop them, they'll get massacred like mine was. I'll be real, I'm all for it. Seize the means of production. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> Maybe don't do it under the banner of, like, a, 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 a spellcasting merchant that probably ha has their own ulterior motives, but, you know. Yeah, you know. The other refugees are hiding in the caves south of Lost Hope, but to approach them would be fruitless. They would sooner call, or, they would sooner call us agents of the Sultanate's and, tr and try to kill us, then listen to reason. Why, the twins might even deign to do the deed themselves. A pox on all bloody cell swords. They were supposed to train us to fight, but the ones he sent with us vanished during the struggle. If only we'd never listened to the merchant's ridiculous claims. He, he said our cause was righteous, that the gods would never suffer us to be defeated. The Though, gods are fickle like that, aren't they? Gods are assholes. We ex- Oh, bye, she. <laughs> It's really funny when the Chocobo just suddenly shouts and disappears. Bye. Just, uh, all right, Sam, bye. Wee. To be fair, killing gods is kind of my job. You know. Primals are basically gods. They they are gods. They're basically they gods. Are, they are constantly stated to be gods. They're, they're, they're viewed as gods, but they're not gods. You no, get my drift? Gods. I, I get your drift, but to the people that worship them, they are gods. Okay, well, if I worship a hand sandwich, that doesn't make it a god. Yes, it does. It just also makes you crazy. Okay. I, 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 have, I have a problem with your worldview. <laughs> <laughs> I have very... Sp Did I tell you that my mom said that a fish isn't an animal? I <laughs> <laughs> See, that was my reaction. Because I wanted to give her a fun fact uh, that Wagyu isn't, like, uh, the most expensive meat, and it's actually bluefin tuna. And then she said, well, and then she said, well, fish isn't meat. And I was like, okay, I can see why someone might think that, especially because she grew up, I think, Catholic, um, and they have, I don't know, weird fish stuff. <laughs> That's the weirdest way to put that. Um, so I was just like, well, you know, like, it's like, you know, the flesh of an animal and then I thought that's where it was going to end but then she hit me with not just the just the fish isn't meat then she hit me with fish isn't an animal <laughs> and I didn't I, I didn't mom's a little crazy. I didn't know what to say I didn't I, did, I don't know how to parlay with a human being that doesn't know that a fish is an animal I don't blame you, if I'm going to be honest. So, <laughs> so basically I called her a weirdo, um, and then she got, and then she, then she got mad and looked it up, and then she did find out that a fish is in fact an animal. <laughs> Although technically a fish isn't a thing. That's another fun fact. Technically a fish, uh, technically the word fish doesn't mean anything. Oh. Huh. So, like, you know how you just kind of, like, know what a fish is? Yes. There is no scientific definition of of what a fish is that would actually encompass all fish. Huh. It's a very interesting fact. So, technically, technically, if, like, saying something is a fish doesn't mean anything, because a fish isn't a scientific classification. Wild. Yeah, it's interesting. But, yeah, anyways, uh, my mom's crazy, but, you know. Um. <clears throat> Anyways, though they were forced to confront reality, I, I forgot that that's... On another that's, note. I forgot that's what I stopped on, if they were forced to confront reality. That's it. Challenge the twins to combat and show my brethren their strongest warriors are no match for one woman. Mayhap then they will agree to lay down their arms and renounce this plot. Well, that's one way to work it. Beat it into them. Okay. I I'll, won't do anything until I'm leaving the party. Okay. I'm probably doing this and then I'm going to end because I'm at just about two hours. That is fair.
Aha, antling workers. I see you have come to fight. Well, how do you like this? Ah, uh, fire! <laughs> I like how they immediately just put AOEs in front of you. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> it's like we don't, we don't, we do we 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 could not if we wanted to give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know we. Yeah, you, know you say that like people things are ants before us. Well, that was like an ant before us. Okay, I don't if, think that ant is is an ant before anything. It's fucking massive. You know, someone else. They found us. Everyone, grab your gear and make for the rendezvous point. So that's your game, is it? Haha, <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, lass. We've got, but we're more than willing to kill you ourselves. You are under you attack. Do, do, you, do you all not know who I am? <laughs> I don't know what I would. No, I should have. Rip. I mean, your name's kind of been plastered all over the place. It's like, look at her, look at her, the warrior of light returned. To be fair, I don't exactly look like the hero type. No, nah, we'll agree. We'll very much so agree. And really don't. deep freeze! No, oh, there's more. They aren't they aren't doing this in an efficient manner for me to hit them with things. Okay guys, walk over here. Oh, that was Gave. That was the wrong button. Okay, lightning. Kaboom. Oh wow. No, see, see that that when you hit nineteen hundred mana, that's when you uh, that's when you flare. All oh, right, flare. <laughs> I was too busy using it. I was too busy using it on on ants. It's not just a meme. It's a real button you hit. I'm about to die. <laughs> oh, Stop playing, bud. <laughs> I was so half paying attention throughout that. <laughs> also, to be okay, clear, this seems uh, this does seem like it's kind of a not ideal instance for black mages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I think that's a fun, that's a silly little place to stop. I need to fucking kill him. I can't stop on that. Sure, you can. I I cannot stop on me dying to a random to a random quest encounter. <laughs> I need to go back there and actually cast Flare for once in my life on something that's not an ant. <laughs> fine, I'll make sure I'm there to bail you out. It's fine. What's the... What is the thing that I should do if they all spawn in different places so I can't actually, uh, uh, thunder to them? Uh, just... Uh, wait just... for them to group up and... Then hit them with Thunder too. See, that's what I did, but then they did a lot of damage to me. Oh, uh, they just started throwing chill. Oh, God. Oh, this shit. I remember this stupid goddamn thing. Okay, I need to go out of this, and it's down here. I hate this part of the map. Do I always learn the worst classes while playing the classes that will be, th like, like the least beneficial to be in the mindset of another class for? Wait. Because like I'm learning a warrior, and then I'm going into, and then I'm going to, to like actually leveled encounters for me as a black mage. You know, not exactly a great uh. You what? Know Kaboom! I'll do that, and then. Now we'll do that. Aha! I got one extra fire off. Yay! Oh, don't forget you have mana ward. Yeah, I know. I'm saving it. Okay. I know. Start casting flare. I did. That did a lot of damage. It is flare. Fire go. It is. You know, 220 potency off of a very powerful cast.
You know something that would be cool? Hmm. Um, is if, um... Oh, what am I thinking? Um, is if, uh... While you were under the effects of, like... Oh, damn it. Um, like, if, like, for Umbral Ice, you had, like, slightly boosted defense. And, like, for Astral Fire, you had better attack. Be neat, but I kind of get why that's not... Dear thing. God, why do they do so much goddamn damage? Ah! 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 Hey, that's with gas. Um, I'm trying to think what would help me swift casting hit, right now. Hit a potion. Also, swift cast fire. Oh, it's gone. I just removed potions by accident. <laughs> well. Okay, listen. <laughs> if I just keep running around, I'll heal. I mean, scathe. Just keep scathing him. Ah! Well, it made me run towards him. Oh, well. That was the worst idea you've ever had. How is it the worst idea I've ever had? Okay. I'm not going easy on them anymore. I was gonna say, okay, maybe you stop being a, uh, maybe you stop being a black mage with this. That, that really does not seem like it's... Actually, to be fair, if I had been playing black mage the entire time, it would be three more levels up. Mm. Although I'll also be... Kind of honest with you, despite the fact that that Black Mage is uh, the the director of the game's you know baby baby class and his favorite, the game is fucking designed to fuck over Black Mages. Well, y you know it, it is the turret mage, and this game is designed to murder turret mages. Yep, it's really funny. the over here okay fine you guys don't want me to beat it as a black mage I'll do it as the most broken glass in the game That's not the class I expected. I got shield this way more sense. I can't lose as this class. <laughs> <laughs> I literally could not lose as this class if I tried. I feel like if you tried, you definitely could. Okay, if I like actually like tried, tried, yes, I could lose as this class. But like, if I am pressing buttons, I probably can't lose as this class. That one sounds a little more accurate. Just look at this. This is pathetic. Holy. You're just constantly flashbaiting them. Just the, just the ringing in their ears. I cannot. Hey, have you ever wanted uh, proof that these aren't, like, differently designed, like, per, per uh, class you're playing? Um, this is it. <laughs> oh no. Cure 2. I'm fully healed. Stone. 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 Repose. And pray. And... Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> you should have swift casted it just for just for the extra bit. <laughs> oh yeah, I can swift cast only. I never think about swift cast. I mean, I'll be here. I'll be real. I have swift cast really... for rays. That's basically what I have it for. It's kind of the the big thing it's used for. But like, you also don't ever really. If I'm gonna be honest, you don't ever really want want to swift cast holy because the big thing with holy is the stun and chaining stuns. 
And if you swift cast it, you'll be hitting them with a stun. You can swift cast the first one. They're... You can, but then you're still hitting them as like they're they're as they're stunned. Here, watch. Desperate refugee. Yo. To be fair, because of the way that the effect works, like how you cast it and then it takes a second for the effect to actually happen, it kind of doesn't look like you swift cast it. <laughs> it really doesn't. Okay, anyways. I've, I've broken him. You beat him like it was nothing. <laughs> oh, almighty, what are we going to do now? Yeah, like it was nothing. You definitely didn't kick my ass twice. Well, and then you said, all right, fuck it. There's... All right, you decided to choose the blood route. <laughs> There's a time and a place to be a black mage, and it's apparently only when doing dungeons or raids. If you, have, if you have other people with you, you can be a black mage as much as you want, and you'll be the best. Um, other than that, don't. <laughs> Playing ranged magic DPS solo is... It feels bad. Well, I mean... You can play a... Do you play summoner alone pretty well and be fine? Well, uh, okay, but here's the thing. You specifically... Summon a friend to help you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, red mage is also fine. Because uh, red mage gets fur cure. Red mage... Okay, red mage is basically a magical physical DPS. Yes. This is why, yeah, you know, but this is why you don't play Black Mage, because Black Mage is boring. Not boring. That's not the right word I want to use for this. Questions. Okay, so I'm trying to uh, trying to remember. The physical parts of this are all when you have your gauges up. Um, mm -hmm. Ver Stone and Ver Fire are the special casts you get for using Ver Thunder and Ver Arrow. Yes, and only the single target version of those. Yeah. Yeah, and you only want to use Ver Arrow or Ver Thunder when you have dual cast, so you always use Jolt to get dual cast. Yes. Okay. You always use jo Jolt or Ver Stone or Ver Fire. Well, yeah, but but those are random, so generally speaking, Jolt is the one you want to go for. Yeah. Or, or Scatter, technically, if it's AoE, but, you know. Mm -hmm. And then Fletch is just extra damage button. Flesh is hit your hit your free damage buttons. It's free damage. I think that I think that red mage is actually like the ideal class, like how a class should work. <laughs> Does that make sense? Well, that's why they made dancer. I don't know what that means. You've returned. Did you find my brethren? What are the twins? What happened? Well, I see. Well, you had no choice. Better than a handful. Better handful of them take the way the way that he said. Well, you had no choice makes it sound like I fucking murdered them. <laughs> You basically murdered their eyesight. <laughs> they're all they're all just laying in the corner blind. <laughs> better than a handful of them or uh 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 better that a handful of them take a beating from you than the luck get uh than the luck get butchered by the flames. Tell me, what did the merchant have to say when it was over? Huh? Where else would he be? Unless unless he went to stone uh to stone's throat or recruit others. Okay, and we will hunt down said merchant later. I can't... I, I find it insulting how easy that was as white mage. Welcome to white mage. It's just, like, I was even still kind of not paying attention, and, like, I got a little bit low in the third round because uh, one of those guys does, like, ridiculous amounts of damage for no reason. Because mm -hmm. I think they're a gladiator that actually does combos. Um, and, uh... It was it was really it was real sad because I saw that and I was like oh please don't tell me I'm gonna like die again just because I'm being stupid right now and then I just remembered I could press the heal button and it's like oh wait I have a healing oh, wait, like, I'm a healer it's like let oh wait I'm literally myself. immortal let me just magic myself better as long as I can press cure two and then press stone and then still be alive to press another cure two I can beat anything in the game yep all, all right. right I'm gonna sit on this rock. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on this rock and contemplate Black Mage. And this is why nobody plays Black Black Mage in solo content. Little tiny Kanesena is also is also beat is also 
taunting me with white mage. <laughs> okay. You should, you should be one. You should stay one. It's very good, I promise you. Technically, Karnesen is a white mage, Raubon is a she warrior, and and uh and uh Melvib is a is a is a White Mage Not Artificer. Gladiator Machinist. Machinist. I thought Raubon was a oh was more of a warrior. I thought he had one big axe. I thought he didn't have a shield. No, he's got no he's got a sword. He's got he actually uses two swords. Oh well he's cool then. Oh, he's he's, he's technically a rogue then. <laughs> He's technically a rogue. <laughs> that, the best that's, kind of rogue. That's a straight that's, face rogue. That's literally that's literally that's literally what Thanker did. He just picked up a second sword and he became a ninja. Yep. Okay, anyways. Well that's it. That was fun. Uh that was also stupid, but <laughs> that's fine. We got a little bit farther on the story just by a few quests, and I mean this was supposed to be a short stream anyways, so you know. Mm -hmm. I will probably be playing uh, Dredge next time because Nick's told me about the game and I can't stop thinking about how good it would be as a stream game. So, you know. There so, you yeah. go. That's gonna be it. Uh, thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you the next time I stream. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.